but it's another Tuesday here on the YouTubes, and I am starting a brand new Let's Play series on a different title, also for the PS3. This is, of course, 2011, I believe. 2011's Shadows of the Damned. This is a action horror shooter from the likes of Suda51, Shinji Mikami, and Akira Yamaoka from the boys over at Grasshopper Manufacturer. Or should I say the boys and girls from Grasshopper Manufacturer. Just a quick rundown and background on the game before we get started. Suda51 is of course the game designer, the punk rock game designer, most famous for doing titles such as Killer7 and No More Heroes. He uh, released a title earlier this summer called Lollipop Chainsaw. If you guys haven't checked that out, check out other Let's Play series of that on the YouTubes. Uh, I probably won't be getting around to doing that for quite some time, um, but hey, Shadows of the Damned it is. Shinji Mikami, Mr. Mikami is another renowned Japanese game designer, most famous for uh, Resident Evil 4, revamping that, uh, and having some hand in and many, many other uh, Capcom franchises and revitalizing them. Uh, lately, he's been up to uh, uh, doing titles such as Vanquish, and uh, he's going to be doing, uh, I believe, uh, actually, I'm not too sure what he's going to be up to lately, but regardless, he is a prolific game designer. Sorry, kind of a fail there on my part. And lastly, we have Akira Yamaoka. Yeah, Akira Yamaoka is the uh, sound designer from uh, Silent Hill. And uh, Silent Hill, of course, a psychological horror series. Um, it's uh, not going to be uh, very influential in terms of uh, how the atmosphere is presented in this game, uh, since this is more of an action title. But as you can hear from that chime, Akira Yamaoka's sound design is going to be all over this game. Uh, I believe he was responsible for the music too, but I could be mistaken. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure that the adjustments here are correct. Um, subtitles are going to be on, just like in my other Let's Play with Uncharted. I'll try not to talk all that much through cutscenes, but I might quip in here and there. Um, I know that, uh, if I recall correctly, I have played this game before, uh, and you're going to see my uh, my save file from, from my first playthrough when this first game first came out. Uh, you'll notice that uh, the aiming in this title if you've played it yourself, is a little bit twitchy, so I'm going to turn it down a couple notches and see how that works out for me. Okay, so without a, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll shut up for a couple moments. Gotta love the protagonist names for uh, all of Suda 51's games. If you mortals can be saved with one little squeeze, kill me, and I shall be replaced by another, and another, and another still. You cannot point that pet gun of yours at all demon kind. <laughs> this can start with you, right? If you're not looking, is where the greatest threat shall be. One at a time, 
we shall seize the treasures of your life as spoils and leave. Some of the empty. fishnet shorts. <laughs> My last gifts to you. <laughs> Just don't forget to wrap them. Put a glass. By the way, Hotspur, how is your dear sweet Paul? Is she hanging in there? <laughs> Fuck you! Love to see they go a little uh, Tarantino esque on the level of violence here. And uh, I'm not going to give away anything, but uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering, that is a fresco-style rendition of Garcia Hotspur. Um, like I said, I'm not going to give away anything right now, but we're going to see a lot more of this guy a little bit later on. Okay, looks like we're in a playable part. Yeah, we are. Okay. Um, yeah, the sensitivity on the, the gun might need to be adjusted, but I'll do that in between takes, guys. And let's just go ahead and get started Paula! here. Shit. See if we can find Paula. I like, uh, I like his style. He has a, a huge pixelated portrait of his girlfriend over here. But I guess it's not meant to be pixelated. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? Kind of a weird poster. Anyway, looks like she's obviously in here. Oh boy, that's... Starring Paula? Starred oh. Paula? Oh god. No. If you're wondering who that third voice was, uh, we'll see him in a couple minutes. Paula! Ugh. <laughs> okay, I guess I, I'm pretty sure she's dead now. <laughs> Looks like she had a little hitchhiker. And we're gonna have to take care of him. So with a lot of these action horror games, you guessed it, headshots are the name of the game. And I guess my sensitivity is still a little bit not to my liking, but like I said, I'll be fixing that later. For now, let's get back in the action. Looks like they're trying to break through the, uh, the foyer over here. Whoa. me to line up headshots, um, but hey, I'm filming a, you know, a chart of Let's Plays concurrently, and I guess the angle of the shots are a little bit different, so at least I've got that excuse going for me. Hopefully it doesn't stay very long. I guess I'm getting a little bit better. Yikes, quick turn, alright. I spoke too soon, guys. As you can see, headshots are not completely necessary to bring these guys down, but obviously you do want to expend as little ammo as possible when you're doing this. Alright, I guess I am getting a little bit better. Oh boy. Paul's looking a little eviscerated there. <laughs> okay, here's Fleming, total dickhead, and that is by design, by the way. It's not just a name call. Maybe I would blow your head off nice. You'll see what I mean. Better go. But can't you see the little peach is coming on to me? Pendejo! Oh, demon hunter! Your bullets have no bite, no 
Penetration. <laughs> <laughs> you need more. Of course. There's going to be tons of dick jokes here, guys. So uh, if that's not your thing, then uh, don't worry. We'll be getting some more some, uh, some more gameplay in future videos. But uh, so you know my name. <laughs> and a lot of dick jokes. Mine. Please go me Fleming. Oh. You're not going to get bowdy over one little blonde bombshell. Tell you what, you can have the girl back, good as new. If you atone for your sins against me for slaying my legion of demons, admit that you challenged a greater power and lost. Admit that your endowment will never measure up to my own. I will admit you're a fucking asshole. How's that, Fleming? <laughs> oh, He's a huge. So Fleming's a huge dickhead, and he fights with a giant rod. At my table, mortal. Yeah, super you can foul. Have her back now, but come to my castle in the underworld, and you could still join in our revels. Such a tempting offer. I do love a party. Maybe we could play pong. Do shots! I would say you slay me, Hotspur, but you don't. You can't. Now say goodbye to Paula. She has a lot of dying to do, and coming back to life and dying some more. I like to keep my mistresses guessing. Yes, help her! Because in the meantime, I, I love this really, really long fall. I mean, he had enough time to do a speech. But, uh. Demon physics, so whatever, right? jacket on during that. Oh, there was a mysterious third voice from earlier in the Let's Play video. You know, His gun Jake, talks, by the way. way to the underworld is stretched out before us doesn't mean we have is to... Is there a problem, And Johnson? his name is Johnson, well, of course. Like, saying, there could be any other name, right? Demons are buttholes. You really wouldn't like it there. <laughs> Says the former demon. What's wrong? Lost your spy. Uh, okay, okay, look. If you want to go to the underworld, good on you. You don't know that place. Look, 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 look what they did to me. A few little transgressions, and now I'm doomed to an eternity of heavy metal jokes and, and posing for pirate flags. It's only worse for mortals. Then all the more reason to go. They have the Paula. So the way I see it, you are either with me, or you are not. No! Pretty badass, right? <laughs> Gotta love it turns into a motorcycle, too. Get on. All right. Vamanos. The underworld lies just beyond the sound barrier. How do you know? That's like super classified demon information. <laughs> Not according to the internet. Hey. All I can say is, it's a game written by Suda51. So you can see, guys, that is the intro to Shadows of the Dam. This is going to be my new Let's Play series running concurrently with Uncharted uh, for at least the rest of September. And uh, I do believe, uh, you know, this is not going to be another uh, blind Let's Play, unfortunately. As you guys can see here, I do have a save with a pretty embarrassing difficulty level, Lemon Hunter. Uh, but we'll be going ahead and, uh, you know, starting the Let's Play with a new difficulty level that's going to be the equivalent of normal, but uh, I'm just about a out of time with this video. And uh, don't worry guys, I will be showing you uh, myself setting the difficulty a little bit higher than Lemon uh, when I see you guys next time. So until then, take care and peace out.